Hello and happy gaming, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and we're and we are sticking with something a little bit simpler this time around. I know I had I had posed the I had posed the question of my next theme run. I'm gonna give that a, I'm gonna give that one more day to accrue some votes. I don't have many votes. Matter of fact, I only have one vote at the moment. And without any further input, that's what I'm going to go with. But the question is, do we do a run themed around a he which hero in green? Link from the Legend of Zelda series or Luigi from the Super Mario Brothers series? Feel free to post your vote in the comments below. In the meantime, let's get started on this run. Like I said, we're in, it's the first first run of I'm sorry, the first run I, since the D&D days, so Last couple of days, I haven't posted anything because I've been, you know, doing doing things with our company, getting D and D games together, doing that. So this is the first run of the first run since those two days off. So I want to make sure that I get my, that I get my feet set straight for the run. So we're going to take the Hope Robe, which hey, good job, me. Uh, 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 no, what am I doing? All right, so. We're taking the Hope Robe alongside the Chrono Glove, because we're going to use Obsidian Splitter again. I want to give that another try with the Chrono Glove, see what I think of it. And then we're going to use Frost Flan... Th Frost Flan... Yeah, perfect. Frost Flan. What the hell are you making in the kitchen there? Hey, shut up, Ma! I'm making a Frost Flan here! It's a delicate procedure. It takes lots of time. Now, Frost Fan, so that's going to help control the, uh, control the flow of the enemies. And of course, Cyclone Boomerang to again control control space and draw enemies into me, so I can use my axe more effectively. So we've just kind of got this we've got this very optimized Obsidian Splitter run. Why would the first run first run from since my two days off, and I, they put Atlas at level three? Good lord. All right, seven up. Be with me. Let's get this started. There we go. All right, so I don't particularly see myself taking that taking that cursed relic. I'm pretty sure that's one that isn't going to help me out very much. I don't quite remember what it does though, so perhaps someone will do someone will chime in and be like, "You made a mistake. You should have taken that with you." And I'll be like, "Sorry, I don't remember what it did." Yes, I knew you were going to evade, so I only struck once. And then, and then just let, and just let that do its job. Ow! Have I mentioned that I hate explosive barrels? I do get the feeling it's come up more than once, because those damn explosive barrels throw me for a loop every time. Also, I'm a little embarrassed that I've already taken 105 damage on the first floor, and we haven't even gotten to 50% of the map yet. That's... Whew, that's not boding well for me. But, if we play our cards right, we should still be able to do okay here. Okay, apparently the path to Iris is completely blocked off. In order to go south, you must go north. I'm sorry, you won't say that again. In order to go south, you must go north. I'm not sure I follow. Look, just, just go along with it, it's what we have planned. Oh, plow shit! 
now I need to determine if I want to buy any relics or if I want to come back for one of those other arcana. So the question the question that's probably the question that's most worth asking right now is how did how did D and D days go? Well, the Tuesday the Tuesday game, which is my kind of scary story day, it was hard to it was hard to get myself rolling because if you remember what I had talked about last week, I was left feeling a feeling a little put off from how things went on the on last week's Wednesday game. But after discussing it with my with my two my other two players and just letting him just letting things essentially get off my chest, I started to feel better when we got on with the show. Increases air damage. Well, I mean that's just a boon for my signature spell. So hey, I see no reason not to take that. So, so after after that discussion, we got we got things underway. We because of because of needing to take the time to do that discussion, it was a shorter game, but I'd still say things went fairly well. Though our our group psionicist seems to have trouble activating his skills and. We're saying that the in-character, or the in-universe explanation is because he's, you know, stressed out and tired and things just aren't working out well. I will take Exploding Fireball, by the way. The real reason is he was rolling for shit. Which is, which, I'm not penalizing anyone for it because, boy, that's stupid, that would be stupid. I mean, it's no one's fault that he was rolling poorly. It's just it, it's just the dice. The dice had decided for him that this was going to be an embarrassing night. And by the way, the reason why I frame it like that is because hello, dice of the nemesis. Yes, thank you. Is because we have had DMs in the past that you know if you. You know, you if you dare to roll the poor roll, boy, will they punish the hell out of you for it. It's all it's almost as, as if they're saying, "Oh, what you can't you can't roll constant 19s and 20s." Well, I guess I'm gonna have to show you who's boss. Like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? So I don't know why my phone is blowing up right now. Oh, oh, hey, that was dumb. Hello, brain. Make smarter decisions. Is that smarter decisions? No, I don't want that. Thank you. Okay, what the hell? Yes, I am just having a having a day here. My goodness. I wonder if it's possible for me to suck any more. Okay, I like the idea of ancient fountain pen, and because none of Iris's let's see what are you? I don't care. Take that. No, yeah, none of Iris's Arcana were really all that interesting, so this is where we will stay. Alright. Oh, and we're back to the entrance. Whee! Okay, I, that was just poor on my behalf. I thought I was... Anyway! There we go. Beautiful. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Pigeon. I've got business with <laughs> I've got business with Mr. Shoe. Okay, please go away. Yay! 
yeah, it's kind of disappointing I didn't get any sort of upgrade. I would love to have Frost Fan Pierce, but, you know, the game just decided that I don't, I don't get those benefits. I didn't file, I didn't file for them in advance, I guess. There we go. Now we're looking a little bit better. But yeah, because of because of what happened last Wednesday, you know, not yesterday, but eight days ago, I was feeling, I don't know, a, just a little eh. Wasn't quite feeling it right away, so I needed to take some time to get some things off my chest, talk with my group, and there we go. So then yesterday came rolling around. Oh, thank you, Dice of the Nemesis. Nah, nah. I don't want that, but thank you, Taffy. Um, I wonder if there's another room over here that I can earn a little extra cash with. Probably not. There's another room over here, but is it even a battle room, or is it just more hallway? More hallway! Yes! Yes, we've done it! We've explored the entire floor, mapped every hallway, wasted all of our time! Ow. Okay, I thought for sure one of those would have hit him, but... There we go, that's looking much more professional. And that must be Vessa. Hello, Vessa. Why were you locked in a treasure chest? Don't ask, it's a long story. But yesterday's game is the one that is the one that would have been the follow-up to, you know, the previous Wednesday. So that's where we were going to tell how things were going to be progressing. Like are, were we going to be were were things going to be moving on to a more positive track? Were Was our group going to start getting more divided? Because, like, yeah, there are some... I didn't... Like, what happened wasn't anything major, but it is, but it is, a, it is a good learning experience for, for our newer players. Got wrecked. Oh, thank you, Vessa. Vessa won the day. Uh, water prison. That could help. It's a good way to control eh, to control the flow of battle. But for whatever reason, our two new players not only didn't show up, but they didn't. They didn't bother to communicate with us to let us know what was going on, you know, that they weren't going to be here, why they weren't going to be here. No phone call, no text message, no nothing, just, eh, fuck it. So, that, not gonna lie, that cheesed me off a little bit. And if you're not gonna be, if you're not, if you can't be bothered to... can't be bothered to communicate then that's going to put a lot of pressure and strain on your on your game's host and your other players I mean one of the things that that most quickly breaks down and wrecks games is a lack of communication a lack of communication and poor scheduling are the things that ruin games the fastest also yes I'm aware I took quite a beat down in that room How exactly did that hit me? Okay, I'm getting a getting a little annoyed now. Like, did the game just inexplicably get harder, or is everything wrong with the way that I'm playing right now? Could also just be that this build isn't that great, but.
course, I, of course, there is still the matter of the controller seems that I'm using seems oddly sensitive, and no, I'm not using I'm not using the one that was already super sensitive. I'm using the alternate controller. That's why I'm so confused. Okay, so question. Well, how come I'm not finding any any good any good arcana? Am I like being punished for something? Well, whatever I'm being punished for, hopefully the, hopefully that stops soon. Definitely buy that. Definitely buy that. Noxious Dapper Cap? I'm thinking probably not. Calcifying Bone Mail could help, though. Basically anything to help me stay on my feet, because for whatever reason I am not playing up to my normal caliber today. Oh, well, what do you know? There we go. So better critical hit chance, better damage, better better movement speed, more HP. That Seville just oh he is a gentleman and a scholar, always willing to help. So I don't know, just. Uh, Okay, so Vesa just actually ruined my freeze. Not that I necessarily blame her for that, but at the same time, you know, I was kind of looking for a little bit of breathing room there. So just for whatever reason, I am just playing like garbage today. Look at this, I'm almost dead. I am I am just a garbage player right now. Why can't I hit him? <sighs> I am not in the right state of mind for this right now. I don't know what's going on with me today. So I apologize. I'm normally better than this, but for some reason I am just not altogether with it. And... You know, as part of the explanation, I will say, yeah, I'm getting a little Arcana screwed. I am perfectly aware of that. But that's not the whole reason. I'm just, for whatever reason, things are not working out the way that they probably should. I get the feeling that has in large part to do with the idea that my brain is distracted. Okay, and I do very much want to want to give the doctor something, but right now the only thing I can give her is frost fan and I don't necessarily want to give that up. So what I'm hoping I can do is upgrade it at Iris's shop. Assuming that she's not going to be stingy. And then I can go back and give her a different arcana. There we go. So, 
upgrade Frost Fan. The fact of the matter is, Exploding Fireball is nice for damage, but it's not helping as much as I would like. So that can probably safely be expunged. Though honestly, if I had a choice, which unfortunately I don't, I would rather get rid of Water Prison. Water Prison is nice, but it's not doing enough to keep me safe. I'm using it because I have it, but... Were, were I to have an actual choice in what I got rid of, that would probably be first thing. It just isn't synergizing well with the rest of my build. My build at this point being a bit more power focused. Here we go. Okay, so this floor is going a little bit better. I don't know, maybe the previous floor was just really difficult. There we go. Starting to look a little bit better. I don't think so. Alright, I thought the Cyclone Boomerang was going to do him in, but I was wrong. What do we got here? Okay, so Kali's Flower Diadem is probably what I'm going to want. Especially since I seem to be so... God, I suck. Since I seem to be so off my game today. But yeah, I should apologize for being a little distant. It's just, you know, I'm I'm a little put off because I after after having a really a really good first couple of gaming sessions, now it seems like our new players are going to start getting flaky and sorry, I don't I don't think it's a very a very nice thing to do. No, it might also just be that I take Dungeons and Dragons too seriously. Let's see, what else do we have here? We've got Tectonic Drill, Rippling Rupture. Okay, yeah, there isn't a whole lot here that would make a great replacement for Exploding Fireball. But I do think it's a good idea to give, to give it to her. For a prescription bottle, what does that do? The relic store will now stock two health potions. I'm honestly kind of hoping I don't need that, but better <clears throat> better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. You know, the other reason why I, I theorize I might not be doing well, is, aside from this being, like, the first time I've played the game in a couple of days, is because, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Obsidian Splitter. What, the, what do you guys think? Should should we be willing to come down a little hard on the people that just stood us up, or should we give them another chance? I'm curious as to what you guys think, so just let me know what you think in the comments below. 
What we ended up doing was essentially doing a similar game to what we were already doing on Wednesday, just doing it with different characters and from a different perspective in, in, that, same, in that same world. So I'm now playing a character that I've been wanting to work with a little bit more. We'll take the special snowflake, but just haven't had just haven't had an opportunity to really get started on the character's story. So working that. Oh, hello, bouncing search. Hello, tracer barrage. Okay, those are both really good. I think I'm going to take tracer barrage for right now. Then I'll probably come back for Bouncing Surge later. And that's, of course, assuming I can make enough money, but I mean, it's really early in the floor by all... By all accounts, I should be able to, to make the requisite funds. Yuna storybook, great. I don't have any minions, so how's that gonna help? So to offer an explanation and a little bit of a background, I've I've played around with a lot of with a lot of D and D focused ideas, characters, races. Like I've done a lot of homebrew stuff using using the Pokemon series as my backdrop. So when I played, so after playing Pokémon Tournament and seeing Chandelure as a playable character, my thought was, okay, I like this idea. How can I take the idea of a fighting chandelier and turn it into a workable D&D &D, D &D idea? Like, it's not something that I think would work as, as like a homebrew race, but maybe I can take it and turn it in kind of do a functional character based around this idea. And what I ended up what I ended up birthing was a character who in life was a was an up and coming and accomplished fire elementalist who because of her high charisma score is a very outspoken voice in her community. And because of that, that made that made certain others within her community skeptical. So she was targeted for bad things, and someone else who was somewhat loyal to her, well I guess not somewhat, someone else who was loyal to her, essentially took her spirit out of her body and sent it away without knowing what she would become, just to give her a chance to give her a chance to live on and try to continue to make a difference at another point. Hence, we have a the element the the spirit of a human fire elementalist implanted into a chandelier, and we've already had some interesting moments where people look upon look upon the floating lamp and either question it or go, "Oh, hey, you brought my furniture delivery! Awesome!" To which we have to go, "No, no, that's not what this is about." Why wouldn't you even let me dash away? God, Obsidian Splitter, you're so selfish. And yes, I know this kind of precludes me from being able to buy a health potion, but... Remember the prescription bottle, I can, bu I can buy more than one. And I get the feeling there is a good chance I will need to do that. Ancient Fountain Pen and Rudra's Pinwheel have definitely given the hit. 
giving my Cyclone Boomerang a nice little kick in the ass. I'm loving it. What I'm not loving is how much damage I'm taking. Mm. Gee, go, go figure when half the enemies that you fight have fucking invulnerability in a can. So, when I had described our Wednesday game originally, I described it as a very Monster Hunter-esque campaign. I guess that was only half the story, because now the other half is looking like it's inspired quite a bit by Shadow of the Colossus, which is one of my buddy's favorite games, and, you know, I'm not gonna, com I'm not gonna complain, Shadow of the Colossus is awesome. So, seeing that put into a D&D into a &D format is... It's definitely, definitely giving us quite, a, quite a bit to think about as we explore this world. So there's definitely, definitely plenty of fun, plenty of subplots going on. Like, I'm very interested in seeing where things go with this. I'm sure some of you out there are going, Monster Hunter combined with Shadow of the Colossus, that doesn't make any sense! And some of you are like, oh, fair play, I guess that means, you know, both games about big monsters. Well, I mean, I have a lot of projectiles and one melee, that's... Is it being boosted by anything, or... I mean, not really. I don't know, it'd be kind of... Kind of not cool to take that, considering that, considering that that's kind of the whole reason why I took the Chrono Glove. I don't know. I might change my mind later, since everything else is a projectile. Hey, a Dark Sage! You could have used the portal. Yes, I just thought of that. Uh, hmm. I don't think I need any of these. And yeah, Whirling Wind Agents would be nice. Be something to actually use with Yuna's storybook. There we go. So, I'm happy that one way or another, even if our new players decide that, you know, our group isn't good, isn't the right fit for them, or, you know, that they just can't continue because of other reasons, at least I know that we'll be continuing on in this world, and that makes me happy. So I'm very interested in seeing what, what we have going on, and, you know, how we're going to how we're going to fight the these mega beasts with in in a D&D &D format. I mean, I already have ideas as to how it's going to work out, but what I have in mind isn't the same as what the DM has in mind, so... I don't know, we'll see. Like I said, I'm very interested in seeing where things are going. I mean, I was interested, in, I was interested before, even if for no other reason, because I love my little... my little gnomish storm mage, or at least she will be a storm mage. Right now, she's just a lightning elementalist. There we go, take that. Oh yeah, I was contemplating Whirling Wind Agents, but I guess I just kind of decided that I probably didn't need it. There we go, that worked out nicely. I mean, to be fair, this is garbage, but I'm going to take it because it's going to boost the merchant's cart. And yes, I will buy this because I am just a little concerned about my future endeavors here. So, last floor, I took like a few hundred damage. This floor, only 35. 
starting to think that there are some spells that just aren't for me, like Water Prison. <laughs> On the other hand, give me Tracer Barrage and... and Bouncing Surge and we're good to go. Really? Screw it up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean I'm getting my ass kicked now. This is a very back and forth kind of run. I'm, I don't know, maybe, maybe the problem is I'm feeling a little too bipolar. I don't think I literally have bipolar disorder, but I'm definitely feeling... A, very, very back and forth pull on the way I'm feeling about the day. Why is that that big? Well, for one, we are, our, our day started by waking up and immediately going grocery shopping, which on one end, hey, we've got more food in the house. On the other hand, on the other end, hey, we woke up and immediately went out and started doing chores, so... Eh. So... Very first thing of the day is a combination between yay and boo. But I mean, I guess that's the only thing I really have to complain about, and is it really worth complaining about when it needed to get done in the first place? I mean, you know, fellas gotta eat. So, I mean, I guess, if anything, that's just me being a little a little immature. I would have liked to have slept in a little bit more. But that's that, I guess, would be the other problem, is that it's been really difficult to sleep with the weather the way it's been lately. Which is to say, hot as fuck. So, I mean, I guess take that with, take that with a grain of salt. I mean... Not trying to downplay anything, any. <clears throat> I'm not trying to downplay anyone else's situation when it comes to the weather where they are. I'm just saying where I am, it's to a point where I'm not comfortable with it. God, point blank frost pen just does so much damage. Huh, well, either this means that he's not going to use his Null Flash agents at all, or that's all he's going to use in the second phase. That's a good amount of damage for the first phase. There we go. All right. Well, I managed to pull it together and get my and get myself going going towards the end there, but yeah, I won't lie. Toward as we were going on, as the run was in its earlier stages, I was not feeling comfortable. And maybe that maybe that's because my brain is eh. could be that I'm a little overheated. I did run out of seven up, and I don't have my fan on for whatever reason. I don't know, but we we were we won the run, and we're re and I'm now ready to go into tomorrow's themed run with renewed vigor.
So let me know in the comments below whether or not you want to see the Link or the Luigi themed run first, with the with the other one following up, I don't know, probably later on in the week. Um, also be looking forward to my next One Step From Eden tier list video. Um, I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm going to work out doing the doing the Hell Pass 13 and 14 runs, but I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out in the near future. I also have other things planned, so by all means, stay tuned to this channel and we will all see what comes up next. In the meantime, you guys take care of yourselves, have a fantastic day. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you. Never did find a use for Yuna's storybook, did we?